सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू द सेशन ऑफ पी आई बी टू फोर सेवन मैं हूँ मनीष मिश्रा एंड गाइज इन टूडे सेशन एज यूजली आई विल ब्रिंग टू यू सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द पी आई बी न्यूज विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द ई एस आई सेक्शन ऑफ आर बी आई ग्रेड बी सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू आर न्यू हेयर डू सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन ज्वाइन दिस टेलीग्राम ग्रुप फॉर डेली क्विजेज एंड अपडेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द डेली सेशन एंड इसका लिंक जो है आपको डिस्क्रिप्शन में मिल जाएगा और राइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन गाइस सो द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एजेंसीज हैज वन द यूएन इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रमोशन अवार्ड 2020 दैट इज गिवन बाय यूएनसीटीएडी सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस अवार्ड फर्स्ट सो दिस गाइस इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रमोशन अवार्ड 2020 हैज बीन गिवन बाय यूएनसीटीएडी यूनाइटेड नेशन कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑन ट्रेड एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड इन्वेस्ट इंडिया Invest India, which is a non-profit venture under the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, has been declared as the winner of this award in the year 2020. Okay, and guys, this award recognizes and celebrates the outstanding achievements and best practices of the investment promotion agencies. जो भी investment promotion agencies है दुनिया भर में वहाँ की investment promotion agencies का जो outstanding achievement होता है और जो best practices होता है उसको recognize करने के लिए this award is given by UNCTAD and this year invest india has received this award and guys remember this was established in the year 2009 and as as i told you it works under dpiit and it is a national investment promotion and facilitation agency of our country and of course it is a non profit venture okay it is a non profit venture of dpiit which works under the ministry of commerce and industry okay and talking more about this award so the evaluation guys was based on the uncitad's assessment of work undertaken by 180 investment promotion agencies 180 investment promotion agencies dwara kuch kaam jo bhi kiye gaye hain unko assess kiya gaya by the uncitad and then this evaluation has been done and then these awards have been given okay and invest india got this award for uh, uh, good practices such as the business immunity platform exclusive investment forum webinar series its social media engagement and focus on covid response team okay so these are the some key points about this award and now let's move on to the question so i hope guys you can easily identify the answer now the correct answer is what option b invest india okay invest india is the correct answer which was established in the year 2009 and now guys let's move on to question number 2 so guys question number 2 and 3 are based on vishwas scheme so let us talk first about vishwas yojana so what is this vishwas yojana vanchit ikai samuh aur vargon ki arthik sahayata वंचित इकाई समूह और वर्गों की आर्थिक सहायता इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ विश्वास एंड इट इज न्यूज बिकॉज रिसेंटली एंड रिसेंटली अ मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अग्रीमेंट हैज बीन साइन बिटवीन नेशनल बैकवर्ड क्लासेस फाइनेंस एंड डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन एंड नेशनल शेड्यूल कास्ट इज फाइनेंस एंड डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन विद द सेंट्रल बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एंड दिस गाइज मेमोरेंडम ऑफ एग्रीमेंट हैज बीन साइन टू प्रोवाइड अ बूस्ट टू द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दिस योजना विच इज नोन एज विश्वास योजना एंड इट वॉज रिसेंटली Uh, in the month of uh, uh, i think september or august in the month of uh, september of august it was announced by the ministry of social justice and empowerment and for its better implementation this memorandum of agreement has been signed okay and let's talk about vishwas yojana now what is this yojana so under this scheme interest subvention will be provided to the obc or sc individuals and self help groups jo individuals hai aur self help groups hai unko milega aur ye jo self help groups hai Uh, this should be hundred. This should have hundred percent OBC or SC members. Okay, and these members who have taken loan for income generating activity from those lending institutions who have signed MOA with the implementing agencies. And which are these implementing agencies? These these two are the implementing agencies: National Backward Classes Finance and Development Corporation and National Scheduled Castes Finance and Development Corporation. Okay, so I hope guys the objective is clear. so under the scheme what government is doing that they are providing interest subvention to the obc or sc individuals and shgs and who have taken loan for income generating activities okay and of course the ministry is what the ministry of social justice and empowerment and as i told you it was launched this year uh, in the year 2020 and remember abhi tak jo iska scheme ka period hai that is for the financial year 2021 but the government is saying that if it 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 is a success then we will extend it to the financial year 2025 okay and what is the loan amount jiske liye interest subvention milega so the maximum limit for shg it is rupees 4 lakh while for an individual it is rupees 2 lakh and the maximum subvention which is provided it is 5 uh, is at the rate of 5% per annum okay 
पांच परसेंट पर एन के हिसाब से मैक्सिमम जो इंटरेस्ट सबेंशन है वो दिया जाएगा टू दोज हुव टेकन लोन फॉर द इनकम जनरेटिंग एक्टिविटीज एंड द मैक्सिमम लिमिट्स आर फोर लैक्स एंड टू लैक्स फॉर एस एंड इंडिविजुअल्स respectively okay so guys this is the scheme this was yojana and it was in news because of this memorandum of agreement so i hope guys uh, the scheme is clear so the question is with which bank national backward classes finance and development corporation and national scheduled castes finance and development corporation have signed memorandum of agreement for the implementation of this scheme this was so guys this bank is what central bank of india okay central bank of india is the correct answer option d will be the correct answer here and remember Central Bank of India was established in the year 1911, and it was the first Indian commercial bank which was wholly owned and managed by the Indians. Okay, so that is very important fact about Central Bank of India. It was the first uh, commer Indian commercial bank which was wholly owned and managed by the Indians, and it is headquartered currently in Mumbai. And Mr. Pallav Malhotra, Mr. Pallav Malhotra is the current MD and CEO, and Mr. Tapan Ray is the non-executive chairperson. Okay. so that is about central bank of india and now let's move on to question number 3 so we have to consider the following statement regarding the scheme and you have to identify the correct statements so the scheme is being implemented by the ministry of finance so guys is it ministry of finance no it is ministry of social justice and empowerment which is currently headed by thawarchand gehlot okay and maximum loan amount for shgs is rupees 4 lakh yes this is absolutely correct and the scheme has the duration up to 2004 20, 2425 no that is not 2425 the government uh, saying that if it would be a success in this financial year then we will extend it to uh, extend it up to 2425 but currently it is 2020 21 which means the financial year 2021 okay so therefore we have only one statement which is correct here option d only two will be the correct answer and now guys let's move on to the question number 4 So you have to consider the following statement regarding seventh edition of Wash Conclave 2020, and you have to identify the correct statements again. Okay, so let's talk about this Wash Conclave. So guys, Wash stands for Water Sanitation and Hygiene. Okay, Water Sanitation and Hygiene Conclave, and it was the seventh edition that was organized by UNICEF and National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj in collaboration with three governments, uh, three state governments of Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and Karnataka. and what was the objective of this conclave that is to facilitate knowledge exchange and action on wash related issues in the context of pandemic okay so guys this that's it isme aapko itna hi padhna hai and one more thing yes uh, aapko isme theme bhi padhna hai what is the theme the theme is hygiene matters okay the theme is hygiene matters and one more thing that you have to uh, remember that the target year of uh, target year of providing access to the complete hygiene is 2024 as per this con wash conclave ye jo wash conclave hua tha isme decide kiya gaya hai ki 2024 tak hame 100% access dena hai to the hygiene to the uh, to all the households okay so remember theme also hygiene matters and the target year that is 2024 and now let's move on to the question so we have to identify the correct statement so it was organized by unesco and national institute of rural development and panchayati raj so guys it is not unesco it is unicef All right which means this statement is incorrect the theme of the event was hygiene matters yes this is absolutely correct as i told you and the target year for providing access to hygiene to all households is the year 2022 now that is not 2022 that is 2024 which means third statement is also incorrect and we have to find the correct statement which means option d only two will be the correct answer because we have only one statement which is correct here and uh, which is about the theme that is hygiene matters okay and guys that's it for the session uh, there are only four questions today for the se uh, session i hope all the questions are clear if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching goodbye take care and god bless